thank y'all for tuning back in to the channel. It's your boy, Pelican Bay Canines. Giving you that dog news the way I always do, fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. You know, like I always tell you, appreciate the ones that subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to get up in the comments like your brothers and sisters always do. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, PBK9 give you that dog news. Let's get into this show for the day. See, we're going to get into that Red Boy uh, Middle of Outlaw stuff. We're going to get into talking about a little bit of that. But first, first, see, I'm going to give it to you like nobody else can give it to you. You know, I want to show you the difference between the one and the two. You know, you know, uh, this this pit bull history, you know, it's cool and it's fun and it's all dandy. But at the end of the day, like I say, what you bring to the table. Alright. Now, on another note, I got some news. I got some news. I got some news. 2023. You know you heard it first. Now we we've been in the Carolina Classic. We done been to St. Louis. We done been to uh, all. We done been to Oklahoma. We done been to Florida. We done been to uh, Georgia. We done been to Alabama. But now, today, this news, this news episode is gonna take us way up there in Sus Sussex. I think that's how you say it. Sussex, Delaware. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My fax machines, my emails, all my little, my little, um, you know, uh, underground information outlets was booming. They booming. Won't stop. Won't stop ringing. Won't stop ringing. Uh, Sussex, Sussex, Delaware. We got a dog fighting bus. All right. And here's the deal. You know, we got a dog fighting bus, and you know, always let the news do the talking as well because. A lot of folk can't, you know, comprehend that I just don't get this information out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it out there. But I know what my people want to hear, and I know what they want to see. And we going, like I said, we in Delaware today. We up north. It's cold up. It's cold down here. So I know it's cold up there. But we in Delaware. All right, now that's enough of me for a second. Let's get to the news clip of a home after they were rescued from a dog fighting ring. Now, they were rescued from an active dog fight Sunday afternoon in Seaford. 11 of those dogs needed to be held for a 10-day quarantine, and some will need to be with the Brandywine Valley SPCA for longer medical care. If you were interested, oh, look at that face in the cone. Please contact the Brandywine SPCA. Now, here's the deal. All right, the news article say, uh, it was a, a call in about suspicious activity earlier that Sunday afternoon. All right, Sunday evening, state troopers roll up on the scene and there's a dog fight going on in progress. All right, six guys there, five of them get caught. They break off running through the woods, you know, they're in the wooded area, five of them get caught. Police said they're confident they're going to catch the, you know, the sixth one. I'm, I guess they know his name or who it is or whatever. But, uh, you know, five of them get caught. Now, I'm reading this from a news article. One of them guys who got caught, or it's one of the six, one of the six guys, rather. You know, one of the six guys. Called a neighbor while he was in the process of running. Called a neighbor. They don't say how close the neighbor stayed to the house, but they called a neighbor and said, don't come out the house. Lock the doors. You know, police everywhere. And they was looking for him. While he running, he calling the neighbor. Instead of getting away, he calling the neighbor. Now, I'm not sure how close that neighbor is with him because the neighbor told the police the same thing that he told the neighbor on the call. So obviously the neighbor must be not be that close with him. And you know, I'm not saying the neighbor name because they got the neighbor written down, the neighbor name who made the comment as well. You know, neighbor said, he called and say, stay in the house, lock the doors. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the enemy's here. 
<laughs> he said the enemy said I just had to go back to lean on me for a minute, like old Joe Clark. Take the chains off the doors. The enemy's here. <laughs> but nah, that ain't laughing now. You know what I'm laughing at. I was laughing because I you know I thought about that. But, but uh yeah. He called the neighbor. He said, uh, stay in the house, lock your doors. You know, and she, she uh, it don't, yeah, it did say she. She uh, looked out the window. You could hear the helicopters over the house and stuff like that. You know, and they had a little area surrounded. So my thing is, you know, why even call the neighbor? Because it's obvious the neighbor ain't your ace boom coon. Why call the neighbor when you trying to get away? But hey, that's, that's the modern day. It ain't, I, these, these brothers got some age on them as well. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, everybody don't make the same moves. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't make the same moves. Um, it says they're facing up to 10 years in prison. But it also says under Delaware law, they do not have to serve any prison time for the crimes that they committed, which was, you know, animal cruelty with the fighting wise, being in the barn or a house or something while the fight is going on, and a uh, couple more, couple more charges. But um, you know, I'm now here go the brothers that got caught up in this, you know, this horrendous crime right here. Uh, first is. Samuel Foreman, 44, of Whaleyville, Merlin. Then we got Timothy Whaley, 44, Salisbury, Merlin. Then we got Brian Brittle, 35, of Berlin, Merlin. Then we got Kevin Land, 47, Salisbury, Merlin, or Seaford, Delaware. And finally, you got uh, Glenn White, 36, of Salisbury, Merlin, or Seaford, Delaware. Let's get that dog news, you know, the way I always do, fair and unbiased. And them brothers watch my channel, they already knew. Once that situation situation happened with them, it was just a matter of time before PBK nines find out about it. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, like I tell you before, uh, I ain't famous for interviews. I'm famous for getting that dog news. You know what I'm saying? Fair and uncut, fair and unbiased. You know what I'm saying? End of the day, we try to save folk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so they can tell their stories about stuff from way, way back in the days and different things like that. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, uh, like I said, I do not condone anything illegal. When folk get caught up and jammed up in illegal stuff, you know, uh, you know, uh, they subject to whatever the law, however the law handle it. That ain't what this channel is about. This channel is about bringing awareness to the breed for the positive stuff. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, show you all the stuff that's going on around this country, you know, on a daily basis with the negative stuff as well. You know, anything when it comes to the dog. Now, this video ain't to bash them brothers. You know what I'm saying? What they, what they situation is, what their situation is. You know, uh, they got they got called 13 dogs took it away. Um, one of them died. You know, right after the... Um, Police took the dogs from the injuries, and five of them, five more of them are seriously injured. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, this video ain't to bash them, but it's for you to learn from their mistakes. And you to learn. Don't call nobody while you're in the woods running, unless you call them to pick you up. <laughs> Cause listen here. Uh one thing about it, the news don't care, they'll put it out. You know what I'm saying? The news will put it out. And I'm right there reading it. Because I'm a reading brother. You know what I'm saying? They say you want to keep something from a lot of people. Put it in the book. Put it on paper. 
Because folk ain't gonna read it if ain't no pictures beside it. Uh, shit, me. Pelican Bay gonna read it. You know, I pull on my reading glasses and it's on. You know what I'm saying? It's on. On and popping. But yeah, like I said, man, so it's kind of dealing with police chief said he putting a crackdown on it. He says a lot of it going on around his way, and he putting a crackdown on it, especially when folk come across the state line. You know, and I'm getting all this from news articles. You know, I'm just a news outlet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, if you don't hate Don Lemon them for giving their news, uh, uh, the rest of them for giving their news, don't hate me for giving my news. I'm just getting the news the same way they getting the news. And, and giving it out the same way they get it. You don't want to run up on them, talking trash to them. Don't run up on me, talking trash to me. I'm just a newsman. Once I leave here, I go about my regular life. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you before, I'm in character mode. You know, uh, I go about my regular life once I leave from off this right here. Now, this is my news channel. But it is what it is. I got to do what the next folk ain't going to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I say, 2023, we starting it off. We up in Delaware. Uh, all I tell you is do the right thing with these dogs when it comes to these dogs. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't do the right thing, you know, folk, uh, folk uh, you know, you end up in a situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got to say thank you to all my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Before I get in, go any further, thank you to all my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. Um, thank you for giving me time to, to read this historical stuff in these, um, uh, on these websites and books and stuff and encyclopedias. And like I go to the library, check out stuff, different books and stuff like that. Uh, to get this information to give to you on these dog channels, you know what I'm saying? Because I like to give it to you from more than just my opinion, you know, far as certain things, you know. So I'll read it and see what their opinion is, you know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, appreciate all y'all for tuning in and stay tuning in and keep watching, you know what I'm saying? And keep giving me your opinions. Keep um, let me know uh, what kind of topics you want to talk about or what kind of things you want to talk about, different bloodlines. And stuff like that. Shout out to all the ones that been watching the alligator videos, the um, Hammond's dog videos. Um, man, I left a lot of Hammond's dogs out. After I looked back at my video and I went back to my notes and stuff, man, I left a lot of dogs out of the Hammond's video. And I was like, hey, how I do that? Boy, I gotta stop burning. I gotta stop burning, boy. Boy, I left some dogs out, man. But, uh, you know, I'll probably get back to it because we got a lot of time to get into this, this dog talk. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, man, appreciate y'all from the top to the bottom, from the north to the south, to the east, to the west. Let's get into it. Now, before we get up out of here, let's talk about Red Boy and Outlaw Midland. Midland's Outlaw, all right? Sometimes people like to say, oh, I got a pure Red Boy, or they like to call that like they're really the same thing. The Midland's Outlaw and the Red Boy is pretty much the same thing. But have y'all ever noticed that they give y'all two different dogs? They give us two different dogs. Red Boy give you a certain kind of dog, and the Metal and Metal Outlaw stuff don't be the same kind of dogs as the Red Boy dogs be, you know. And I, I understand that all dogs produce different, even though they could be all the same little, they still producing different. But at the same time, they're giving you two totally different dogs: Metal's Outlaw and Metal and uh and uh, uh Red Boy. All right, being they're supposed to be so close. Same daddy, different mamas, supposed to be. But that goes back to what I told y'all a while ago. What I told y'all a while ago, really, the only way that uh, Midland's outlaw is kin to Red Boy is because Red Boy mother is off Till's jail. Red Boy mother's off Till's jail, so that'll make her you no, know, and outlaw half brothers and sisters. Um. But Red Boy Daddy is not Till's Jeff. So that we you know he, he coming off. He, he's a whole totally different stuff. You um. know, of course he's written down as Till's Jeff, and they always say Red Boy was found, but Red Boy wasn't found. Red Boy Daddy was found. And, and, and he was unstoppable. Like I said before, 
He was an unstoppable dog. And they had to put the papers on. So they bred him to one of Jeff's daughter. Mr. Till bred him to one of Jeff's daughter. And just put, you know, Jeff as a sire. But the sire really didn't have no papers on him. But the sire was a great, great dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's why when you do these all red boy breedings, you do a pure, pure red boy breeding and do a pure metal outlaw breeding, you're going to get totally different dogs. And really them dogs are so far apart. When you look at them pedigrees, even though um, outlaw, you know, is off Jeff and, and red boy mama is off Jeff, if you look at the rest of the pedigrees, them dogs are so far off. And, and, and being that Red Boy is not really off Jeff. That makes them either, even further apart. So, you know, uh, when we thinking, we, we saying, oh, I got a Red Boy outlaw dog. That's no different than a Red Boy Chinaman dog. You know what I'm saying? Because in actuality, on paper, it's saying it look, it look the same. You know what I'm saying? That's all we can go by because what the papers say, right? You know what I'm saying? But in actuality, it's no different than a Red Boy Eli dog. You know? Because uh, the bloodlines are so far apart. Yeah. And to my brother, we were just talking last time on live. We was talking about Sambo. And you was asking me about um, um, why do I think he was so good. All right. Another thing, my brother. Another thing. All right. In this area, in this area where I'm at, you know, and you know, the surrounding area, there was only two dogs of Champion Fatty. And for those who don't know Champion Fatty, who Champion Fatty was yet, you know, he was the grandson of Yellow, and he also lost to Barracuda. You know, it was only two dogs of Champion Fatty in my area that kicked up dust. One was Champion Fatty, Little Mate Sister, that we got, you know, his Little Mate Sister that we got, and she died at about eight months old, got hit by a car. But she was, she was a grown dog that, six months old you know especially to some boys who never seen that yellow stuff big yellow dogs look like hound dogs and unstoppable you know what i'm saying uh she died at about eight months she got hit by a car all right that left sambo only other only other dog coming down off that that, that kicked up dust in this area all right so anybody from this area like i said that got a toe jam uh fatty dog they getting it off the strength of what Sambo did. Hoping they get a dog that did do what Sambo did. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the ones from my area I'm talking about. You know? Uh, so that's why, you know, I know he was what he was. You know what I'm saying? That's why I know he was what he was. But at the same time, I'm going to switch another note because, you know, I always give crossroad props. But the thing I'm, I, I'm, I'm on this news to talk about is why we bring the streets into the dog game. Why we bring the streets into the dog game. You see, because I had my street trouble, but I didn't bring it to the dog game. I even had my dog trouble, but I didn't bring it to the dog game. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, for those who know Crossroad, go around the world, go around the world. At the end of the day, he brought his street to the dog game. He brought his street to the dog game. And like I told y'all, I sat at the table with the, at, with the Knights at the round table. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he gave us Champion Crunch. Champion Crunch was our dog. After he lost, I, I want to say he lost to 600 or one of them other dogs. But I remember he lost and he gave him to us, but he died before he made it back home. Champion Crunch died before he made, made it back home. And that was Champion Fatty, little mate, brother as well. You know, uh, Crossroad brought the streets to the dog game and on our side. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that he got entangled with in the streets, he brought it to the dog game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to put it like this. He didn't bring it to the dog game. You know what I'm saying? He got tangled up in something in the streets, you know, uh, and what he did, he, he sopped me up, you know what I'm saying? 
uh, a fellow dog man why I say he brought it to the dog game, you know, because he knew I was young. He knew, you know, from, I hope it wasn't because, you know, my, my color, you know what I'm saying? But he knew I was young and, you know, coming up in the dog game and different little things, but I guess it didn't matter. But I, I say he didn't take it to the dog game because he didn't say anything about anything about dogs or anything like that. What he did was just sock me up on drug tip, on a drug tip. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I had more, you know, looking up to him as an older dog, man. You know, I, I wouldn't have thought he would have did me like that. But it was, it was, it was, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? End of the day, like I said before, um, life goes on. You know what I'm saying? Life goes on. Um, time goes on. But we still here to talk about these dogs. You know what I'm saying? Right now in the dog game, all my brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, you are more at risk of selling your dog to the wrong person and that tying you back to some stuff that you're not involved with than going out there getting in trouble for actually doing something. You know what I'm saying? Your chances on getting tied up in somebody else's bull, you know, is 75 to 100% higher than... You actually growing out there doing some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just a whole different ball game now to the point where to really enjoy your dogs, you just don't even need no papers. Keep it, you know what I'm saying? Have you, you know your, your pedigree and all that, but man, eventually we gonna get to the days of, eventually we gonna get to the days of uh, paperless dogs. You know what I'm saying? Because the paper's going to be extinct eventually. You know, or uh, the dog going to be extinct one first, one or the other. It's a race, a race to the end to see who going you know, to be extinct first. The papers or the dog. You know, the papers could be extinct before the dog. Maybe the dog might last. But if the papers outlast the dog, the dog ain't going to last. You know what I'm saying? And to my bulldoggers from the east to the north to the west to the south, the ladies and the men. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. If your spouse a Dallas Cowboy fan, if your cousin a Dallas Cowboy fan, if your friends a Dallas Cowboy fan, whoever you know, if they're Dallas Cowboy fans and you know them and you care about them, stick, stick, you know, stick close to them tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Stay close to them tomorrow, specifically after the game. You know, make sure they're all right. Make sure, you know, because... When they when they get to them playoffs and they get them one and dones and they out, they get real emotional. You know what I'm saying? They go through all that all year long. Every game they win is a Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? They so sorry. They've been so sorry the last 10 years, 15 years. Every game they win is the Super Bowl. So they they in the playoffs once again. Going against old terrible Tom. You know what I'm saying? So you know how that, that could play out. But uh y'all, y'all. Just keep your eyes on your Dallas Cowboy fans out there. Keep them in your mind. Keep them in your, you know, in your prayers. Um, just stay by them, man. But y'all just look out for your fellow man. man. If, you, if you got somebody or a friend that's a Cowboy fan, a fan tomorrow night, you know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure they're good, you know. But y'all stay safe out there, man. It's your boy, PBK Nines. Give you that dog news the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. <laughs> some gonna like it, some ain't. You know, like I always tell you, um, hit that subscribe button, hit that comment button, hit that like button before you get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to donate to the channel, you know what to do. PBK, Pelican Bay Kennels. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Pelican Bay Kennels. Pelican Bay Kennel, rather. Capital P, capital B, capital K. Y'all have a good day. I'm out.